Welcome to the Issue Crew. It's the show where we all have issues both with our lives and with each other. I am your host, Riley. We've got a wacky cast of characters today. That's right, folks. The plural is real. Can I play it? No, you can't. Shut the fuck up. Play it. Play it. Play it. Did you play it? (laughs) It's your name. (laughs) Good. Good. You can say it. Doing the impression is better than playing it. Come on. Let me play the pit. Uh, I'll fine play the this is the uh, one yes. you get. All right, all right. Is your name? <laughs> wow, what is my name? I wonder. My name is Riley. <laughs> actually, that's what my name is. Wacky well, cast the characters. Is you know him. You love him. <laughs> it's Andrew is here. Oh wait a minute, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that yeah, that hi. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the show, Andrew. What do you Mo- mean? I was here last week. Oh, yeah, you're here every week. Uh, Mo Side Gaming. Hi, guys. How you doing? And we got guests. Not one, but two. Count them, folks. You know them. You tolerate them. Raging Gingy. Wow. <laughs> okay, can I get, like, 20% more enthusiasm on your end for that, Riley? Hello, everybody. Can I get 20% of your mic not fucking up? Uh, Kang is here. I just want to say, like, like, this recording session is already off to a great fucking start. But listen, this is a full house. I'm excited. This is the fullest house we've had since, I think, episode 50. <laughs> this is so the are you trying to kill the five by eliminating the soundboard? I think that's your issue this week. The soundboard week. was eliminated yeah, right? from day one. That is on the Constitution. That is the This nation was founded on lack of soundboard. I'm a fucking rebel. Yeah, well, you, I think this is the Constitutional like, Republic of sucking my dick. Your mic or your connection or some shit is actually fucking up really bad, Gigi. That wasn't a bit. <laughs> oh, I don't know why it would be fucking up. It's like it's like robot not like super robot but like robot enough that it's extremely annoying. <laughs> and it's really turning him on, so could you stop it? He's distracted yeah, enough. Yeah. That I'm, really, I'm really into robots, so my erection is massive right now, and it's distracting oh, yeah. he, me from the podcast. Yeah, oh, he's, 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 ditching, he's ditching clowns and feet for fucking robots now. You, you gotta fucking... <laughs> hey, Jesus hey, Christ. We, we can have all three. I can still have my clowns and feet. We don't have to trade anything in, okay? Yes, Riley. we do. God, you're so Riley, I, I, What the I fuck have is this show right you? now? You, ha- I have no idea. I, I don't ever know. <laughs> it became Riley. a full adults show, and everything went to shit. So Riley, why aren't we Andrew, playing the, Andrew, the, the, Andrew, the, Andrew the turned eighteen, and now we can talk about our fucking erections all day, and not have to worry about his ass. Yeah, this is Riley, like the perfect opportunity to play that 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 bit, Kang. Like, come on, come on, man. Perfect Riley, opportunity. Riley, Riley, I have a question. What's your question? <laughs> Are you a robophiliac or something? No, I'm actually not into robots at all. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Shut up, this Andrew. This is all fake. We're in a fucking simulation. The only robot here is Gingy because his mic's still weird. <laughs> is it? I don't know what else to do. Let I mean, me try disconnecting, reconnecting, connect your internet again. How's that? Uh, that sentence sounded normal. You sounded normal. Look, okay. Riley, we're going to... It sounds fixed. <laughs> Uh, We're gonna okay. have to ask you to keep your pants dry because of the robots. Because <laughs> the, be robo- the robots the will short circuit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's talk about who won real quick. Uh, we got to talk about that. Is not the most recent episode. That is the episode that YouTube recommended to me. Uh, this is not the latest one. Uh, let's see this one, folks. We had some issues last week. Those issues were. Uh, it was me and Kang last week. Kang is our returning, a returning contestant. Who knows if he's the champion or not? Uh, <laughs> yeah! The issues, the issues were not leaving your decorations up until New Year's, uh, the artificial scarcity of eggnog, lack of quality control, and background noise. And folks, we received one singular vote to decide it all, and that vote went to 
The artificial scarcity of eggnog, baby. Riley it's voted a for win himself for me. straight up. Riley voted for himself straight didn't up. Didn't happen. You know it. Never do that. That bullshit, is a rule. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, no, no. I'm calling shenanigans on this. Something doesn't smell right about it. And no, I'm not I can't. About I my can't vote for myself because I know the moment I do that, everybody else is going to start to. The moment I do that, Demi Gloom wins every time she's in because she votes for her issue on five different IP addresses, which is something she's threatened to do before. Um, I can't. I can't cheat because then everybody else will cheat. So I don't do. I don't do the cheating around here. Okay, I've. I'm. I'm a clean, honest man. I've never lied in my life except for when I lied to Andrew this morning. This is the only lie I've ever told. <laughs> oh, why don't you tell that to fucking Nadia, oh the my fucking god, this bitch. Is fucking <laughs> I can't fucking stand this guy. I can't fucking stand working. Listen, with the video is uploading right now, okay? It's probably already up. It's not already up. Well then it's processing. It's processing right now. Oh my god. I can't fucking Andrew, stand this Andrew, guy. I just want you to know I feel bad for you for like these horrible, deplorable working conditions. <laughs> yes, the yeah, horrible Andrew, working Andrew's conditions that has come with working with Riley. Andrew's I can't a horribly fucking mistreated stand it anymore. Partner. You want to know why I don't do this show anymore? I don't do it not because I work Mondays. No, <laughs> not there because are you good work mo Monday nights. <laughs> no, that's not the issue. I can get Monday night off. I know I can get Monday night off. Do I ask for it off? No, I don't ask for it <laughs> off anymore. In fact, I take people's shifts that work Monday because I don't want to fucking be here anymore. I don't like working with Riley. I'm here for the sake of being here to commit to something. But lord, do I not fucking like it anymore. <laughs> Come on. This is a I was supposed to work tonight too. But I didn't, because I don't like my coworkers. But I like them a hell of a lot more than I like being here. <laughs> well, then why did you come immediately upon being asked? Bow chicka bow wow. Bow chicka wow. Hey now. Hey <laughs> now. Yeah. Is that your answer to the question? Is yeah. <laughs> Um, my lawyer said that if I speak anymore, I will be fine. <laughs> so I have to okay, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Ladies yeah, and listen, gentlemen the, of the jury, it has been confirmed that he has signed an Andrew, NDA. Yeah, Andrew can't speak on this matter because uh, there's a pending uh, $20 million lo lawsuit filed against him by me uh, <laughs> because, um, yeah. for, for his slanderous uh, actions and words. Uh, I would but never slander Riley! Exclamation point. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 I get paid enough amount of monies per week to not slander him. Or slander. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. Andrew actually gets paid to be. He's the only one who gets paid to be here. It's like that joke from Mike Tyson Mysteries, where everybody finds out the pigeon is getting paid, and he's like, <laughs> "What? I asked. <laughs> Have you guys never talked to him about getting paid?" <laughs> God rest Norm McDonald. Yeah, but what, a, what a fucking hero. Love that guy. Uh, but folks. We got some issues tonight, and I don't know. I know a guest has to go last, so either Kang or Jinji gets the last pass. Other than that, the the order's up in the air. Um, why don't Why don't we hit a, hit it hit it with a classic man who I'm sure has plenty to say about his issue, Mo Diggity. God damn you! Hit us with your all issue. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have an issue for ye all. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's called. Re-entering the physical workplace. Let me tell you how my knees and my legs feel right now. They they they're not bad, but I know it's about to get a lot worse because, as you all know, I uh, lost my job of two and a half, to almost three years, and lost my emotional self with it. Was just like sulking for like a, the few like three and a half weeks I was out of work. Um, but yada yada blah blah. Um, I got a job at the plant, uh, doing forklift work again, right? And I had forgotten what getting your fucking forklift legs fucking feels like. Now, what I mean by that is you're getting on, you're getting off, you're stomping the brake, Ooh. stomping the gas, and all that. You're having to, you know, just keep going and going and going. Now, I'm not, like, whining or crying or, or anything about it exactly, but my shit hurts, man. 
And I know that it's going to get more and more and more, like, you know, like intense with that. But God damn, um, now I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to be like chowing down fucking aspirin uh, like it's going out of style soon. And uh, until I get used to it, like the worst part about a part about a new job is just getting used to the new job. And, uh, you know, I'm at the point where I'm like, well, you just got to get used to the new job, bro. That's just how it is. Right. And, oh, uh, God, I, I, I do not look forward to, uh, you know, being this sore for work because I, I feel a mighty need to not, like, give a shit about, like, you know, feeling bad for work, right? Or, like, feeling sore for work. And I, I've always gotten to the point where, well, it, it's the work from home attitude speaking here. Because really what I want to do is I just want to sit back in a quiet room and just like, you know, click on a button and just go, oh, I did a business today. Look at me. I are working mo contributing to society. Yeah, this is fucking wanna... spiritual vengeance, you piece of shit. This is spiritual vengeance <laughs> for all not only all the time you spent working from home, that's one thing, but also for the time you spent during fucking COVID quarantine collecting unemployment and investing in fucking crypto jerking off all day. Fuck I fucking you. deserve to jerk <laughs> off and invest in crypto every fucking day. That had that was mine. That belonged to me. That was mine and I want it and yeah. it's mine. Like like risk breaking fucking and, and, and fucking crypto trading. It, it's just fucking. It, I I deserved it. God damn it for like the curveball Christ has thrown to me. While him and God and probably the devil also are up on a cloud, cloud laughing their asses off at me. And you know, like every once in a while, you know, life kind of owes you. And that was my fucking, like, I called in a big favor, and they couldn't, and the big man couldn't say no. So I, I got COVID unemployment and, and fucking free monies. He couldn't say and, no. All he could say was, Mo. Yes. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that was good. I'll give you that. It was good. But shut up, anyway. Oh, uh, but, uh, yeah, 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 uh. Yeah, just uh, sitting there going, oh, man, I'm thinking to myself, I'm never going back to the office ever again. I'm never going to the fucking plant again. And it turns out that work from home has its advantages and also its disadvantages. And I happen to run afoul of all the disadvantages, like, all in a row. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it, man. I'll just, I guess I'll go ahead. And I'll go, um, you know, re-enter the workforce. I'll get, you know, it's actually been a lot more exciting and a lot more fun than uh, I, I'm letting it out to be. Because it was like, all right, I get to make myself a little lunch. I, I get out of the fucking house all the time. Uh, a lot of my uh, social anxiety and panic attacks when I go outdoors has suddenly all just disappeared. And, you know, like, apparently I was just indoors for too long. My, uh, my buddy Paul, my admin for my uh, Discord, and as all you know, my like, one of my best friends. Um, we love Paul he was, around here. He's always commenting about culturally relevant streaming gaming man, most side most gaming. Most side gaming. God damn it. Dude, <laughs> I can't wait to make the sticker and the t-shirt for that soon. Um, but no, no like he, he sort of told me, the th he said, you know, the thing about getting cr going crazy is you don't really notice you're going crazy until you're locked up in a padded cell. And I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe I'm just fucked up and this is sort of like what's happening right now. Like maybe I should, you know, go back, re-enter the physical workforce, you know? And all the, I, I feel like the Grinch during Christmas Except I don't have a bunch of clever uh, uh, terms for, like, basic bullshit. Like, you know, they're banging on the drums. They're bringing on their whooses, what's it's their golly whoops and all that. Like, no, nah, it's a bunch of assholes honking their horns on the fucking forklift. And fucking people, you know, like, uh, you know, and just like you're asking lines the people to plan going. to work from home. You're like, I'll fix it up there. And bring it back here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Dude, if I could forklift from home, like, if they would just, like, buy me a virtual fucking forklifting rig 
Oh, dude, that would be like the best fucking job. Dude, that would be like such a cake fucking job. Like, I would never like, dude, I'd be like, dude, maybe I should just like ask for the Matrix. Because like, just plug me I mean, in. Why, why, why can't plug me into the forklift that. for the rest of my life. Like, fucking Japan has the uh, waiter robots that people remotely from home control the waiter robots to serve people food. Why can't it's we have... It's so weird, but it's so fucking cool at the same time. Like, I, I kind of... I'm very hesitant to say that I'm looking forward to the future because, like, automation is going to kill us all. Or no, We're, we're all going to turn into the fat pieces of shit humans from fucking Wally. e Yeah, I, I'm, I'm expecting... Well, that's sort of the, the best outcome, I think. Because the worst outcome would be fucking like Soylent Green or something, you know. Like <laughs> it's made out of people. By the way, so, Riley, we gotta we, we gotta review that movie. I think you might. Well, you'll hate it because you hate all things old and cool. But uh, dude, uh, Soylent Green is such a cool fucking dystopian. Fucking hell yeah, it is. Up, I'm always down to review some movie. movies, Mo. We actually got to schedule something. We've talked about a couple of them in passing. We got to actually make some happen. I know you just you don't ever seem to like any of the of the old stuff that I like though. But okay, have we, okay. When have I watched old shit that you like? What have you showed me something? Oh, I guess Dark Warrior or whatever the fuck. Dark Crystal. Dark yeah, Crystal. That's it. Yeah. Well, like you had a really good compliment, then all of a sudden, boo! I don't like this because it's old and boring. You know, it's not cape shit. So you know, there's yeah, no. It, it was a America. technical marvel, the but Avengers it was fucking is- boring. No, it's well, all right. Okay, it's a little boring, but it's not so boring. <laughs> see here's the thing if we were to live in a dystopian cyberpunk era future where like fucking machines take over many people would lose their jobs oh, they God. Lose their jobs. <laughs> there's that fucking dude All right, uh, Riley uh, who was this that when, when I came on your show a couple of days ago that fucking dude who uh, who just would not fu- who just refused to uh, look at the facts, and he was just totally ass wrong about a si- Okay, so you're all fucking. Oh, you're talking about Jack, token. my my friend from Brazil, Jack. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he maintains that a cyberpunk dystopia is not all about the cyberpunk dystopia part, but about corporations taking over the world and taking away our rights. Like, well, okay, that's a that's one of them. But not overall. It's about the technology, you know, like, let's say, like, you know, like, uh, a real, like, fucked up version would be, like, Judge Dredd or something, you know? Like, everyone sort of, like, moved out of the country because it got too polluted. And now, like, everyone's into steampunk and cyberpunk technology and shit. And he just refused to concede that point, man. It was Is that the guy... That made all those terrible freaking jokes, <clears throat> and that that basically helped create the Mo Show. Was that that guy? No, that was not Blackbird. The, 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 oh, don't God. disrespect Jack by comparing it to Blackbird. Jesus well, Christ! He, he said some stupid shit like Blackbird. That's all I'm going to say. He seems like nice, just like his Andrew, opinion. What is on that his... noise? <laughs> what is what noise? Oh, probably my Xbox. That's probably what that is. <laughs> it could be. It could possibly be. It is very loud right now. Well, no, it I sounded more like a mic knocking than how an Xbox sounds. Oh. Maybe I just... I'm hitting my fucking thing in my jig. You know that yeah. thing? The, the thing? The microphone? Is that the thing you're referring No, to? not the microphone. The thing that's in front of the microphone. The pop filter? Yeah, that. Oh, okay. I can't think of the name of it. That's what I was hitting. Yeah, but Andrew, uh, Andrew, not that's not who I meant to refer to. Mo, I can't help but uh, just snicker to myself in in goblin with goblin energy as I as I hear that you've returned to the physical workforce after literal years of you coming on the MoCast or whatever fucking show, being like, "I'm never working in the office again, man. I love working well, from home. I'm working yeah, from home well, is the yeah, best. I, I never want to go back to the office." And I should have been able to maintain it, but I was not able to do so. So, meow meow on me, but, you know, now I'm back, and I, I hate it. Well, no, I no. don't hate it. I, I don't hate it. I'm just like, I, you know, it's. I guess it's better this way. I guess you're still doing this- it. 
Oh I can't God. hear it, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think Riley's schizo. Stop not hearing shit. I fucking hate how nobody else can hear any audio issues. Just keep it to yourself, because I know what I'm talking huh? about. I'm not yeah, Obviously, you don't. Don't fucking gaslight people into not fixing their audio issues, okay? Just shut Riley, up, Riley. We know you're high. Schizophrenic. I just don't hear it. I'm sorry. We know you're high, and you can't hear the mic knocks, okay? Don't The fucking... mic knocks of my mic that's sitting dead still well, that then, i haven't then, touched since i well then something else is making the noise up. that was just my theory my game theory as to what might be causing my, the noise yeah, my theory gay. is that you're schizophrenic <laughs> <laughs> very possible very possible uh, it's more than very possible it it, it is Editor, you're hearing you shit that isn't there. This. you have the same issue when we were doing you remember super paper mario like seven months ago and you kept saying that the emulator was stopping at random well that was like that was discord screen share being fucked this is just like a regular ass call where i see All your right, green buddy. circle light up and it goes like doo, doo, doo. editor I, if you're listening to this we, we need a compilation riley schizophrenic moments <laughs> oh, trust me, no editor is paid Jason, enough. Jason's been editing my shit for years. I'm sure. I'm sure he's got it all in a folder, ready to sue me for twenty million dollars someday. <laughs> Best of. <laughs> I do. I don't want to sit through all of Riley's content. Yeah, no, that that's a fate worse than death. Uh, now, now, Gingy, as somebody who has uh, who has like a real commute to work, and you've had to work constant, uh, unescapable overtime that has driven you mad. How do you feel about uh, Mo Diggity's uh, pretentious uh, <laughs> experience? Not being pretentious, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> where, where he. he Five Nights at Freddy's yeah, type, fuck type yeah, beat. Fuck yeah. Speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, the same day that this podcast comes out at 11 a.m. Riley, don't you dare list. fucking say that. You know damn well you ain't uploading that shit at 11 a.m. <laughs> I'll upload. I'll schedule that shit before I go to bed tonight, you piece of shit. It's happening. I okay. don't believe we, we, you. No, Riley, we will hold you to that. Okay. Uh, fucking, you, you want to put money in the pool? Right now, I'll take a bet. <laughs> Four against one. Everybody puts some oh, money in the pool. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. <laughs> number one the bullshit guy. That's right. Oh I'm the number one the bullshit guy. Andrew, how much you want to put on we it? Do the wee woo wee woo. Not any amount of money I'm willing to give you. Two dollars. You won't bet me two dollars right now. You're so confident that I won't do it. Two dollars. I am I'm yeah, I'm confident you won't do it, but I'm not I'm not fucking gonna go crazy. I'm gonna person, harass you online. I, uh, listen, I think you should put two dollars on it right now. I will put a week of saying nothing but nice things about you when you're brought up. I'll take it. Oh, I'll see, fucking that. take there it. <laughs> that's um, better than gold right there. <laughs> I will I will make a five seven minute video at the minimum of nothing but nice things about you. Oh bet be, take it. And I do you want me to do the same or is there something else you want me to do if I don't nope. do it? I just want you to upload the fucking videos on time. I'm gonna upload the videos on time, but that's the that's the bet that you have to make this video. What do I have to do if I don't? I don't give a shit what you do. I'll I'll make a video, uh, a seven minute video about uh, how. Uh, wait, wait, hold I... on, hold on. I ha I have an idea. I have okay. an idea. Okay. Okay. Come out with fucking all I want for Christmas is a chinchilla part two, asshole. <laughs> I've been waiting <laughs> long enough. That's a terrible bet because I will not follow through even if I do lose the bet because I'm not making that fucking song. <laughs> I will send. We will message you. We will spam your mm. fucking messages, Riley. I will send um, that song to Mo. I swear to God. Yeah, you guys yeah, will have your I'll alarm set for 11:01, and I'll just receive like floods of DMs from Mo and Kang and Andrew and Jinji, just like you failed. You failed the mission. <laughs> mission failed. How could you we'll do get it this? Next time. <laughs> probably not 1101 but probably like 12 something because that's usually when i check to see if things uploaded is the video up yet <laughs> is yeah it up? it uploaded okay. i got the notification okay. <laughs> well, yeah there you go it still came out there's no lie in the video it still came out on tuesday okay that's all we said in the video it's still true <laughs> for now 
button for now. And then f- the video is going to go up on Friday and then it's going to go up on Saturday on time. It's going to be so cool and epic. And you're going to be so proud of me. And you're going to make a seven minute video about how cool I am. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, Mo, do you have anything else to say about returning to the physical workspace or whatever we named the issue? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I guess like my, my final thing is like, okay, I guess, uh, Society, you win. I'm coming back here. Didn't want to come back, but you know it's it's better than being unemployed and not having like enough money for anything because unemployment was bullshit that they wanted to give me to. They wanted to give me like two fifty five a, a, a fucking week, and I was only going to make like five hundred something, like a fucking unemployment paycheck, literally half of what I made, or at the like a little bit less than half actually what I made and it wouldn't even count like my entire time. Just like the last like quarter, I'm like, Oh man, really? You guys are going to do that. Oh, okay. Whatever. I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty much done. Like it's, it's pretty much done over with work from home was fun, but you know, if, if you'll just give me a job where you're not going to promise me management and promotions and fucking raises and then shit can me at the slightest opportunity or all of a sudden the fucking contract goes out. I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll just fucking, you know, life, you got me. I'll, I'll go on the forklift. You know, but that's all I'm doing. I'm, I don't think I could do anything else. I don't think I can stomach anything else. You know, my other job prospect, in, you know, the same day I was supposed to, uh, that I did the interview at the plant. I had another job interview lined up with a fucking car wash. <laughs> like, imagine my ass fucking working at a goddamn car wash. Well, I mean, what does working at a car wash even entail nowadays? Just standing in front of the giant machine and being like, back in, get on well, the thing. Just, well, yeah, <laughs> it, it's just fucking like demoralizing. Like, this is really what I've become. Like, this is cool if you're, like, a high schooler or a college student, but, like, you can't be in your 40s working at no fucking car wash, man. Maybe it's like a it. well-to-do car wash, but it's one of those little ones that you see, like, the little mini chain ones that have, like, four or five in, like, one big city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, no, no, no. I, I've got to, I've got to at least attempt to aim higher, you know what I mean? And it, it, we're not even talking about Mo's primary job as a chemistry teacher and his secondary job yeah, as a that was car washman. <laughs> See, I, I've already been Homer Simpson because I worked at a nuclear power plant, my favorite job, by the way. Uh, and, and I didn't want to do, you know, uh, I didn't want to be Walter. Walter! How, how <laughs> thick were the eyebrows on the guy who interviewed you? Uh, n- not at all, actually. Wait, uh... Oh, 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 uh, I didn't even, oh, uh, fuck. Oh, you didn't do an uh, interview for the car wash. Okay, oh, uh, okay. I got the job over at the plant the day I was supposed to go do an interview over at the fucking car oh, wash. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm okay. like, you get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to some fucking car wash. I'm going on a goddamn forklift, motherfucker. America. I'm like all those. Yeah, America. America. Yeah. I'm a forklift. Fuck yeah. Motherfuck- yeah, I don't want to be in my forties working at a car wash. Now I don't want to kill myself. Do, 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 do. You know that's, that's good for me. Diverted. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't kill myself after all. Maybe everything's going to be a little okay now. Slick my butt, suck on my balls. Yeah, but goddamn. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, how did we get there? Mercury. Want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm pretty much done. Rant over. Now I'm I'm, I'm going to throw it to to somebody who we haven't heard from a while. For a while, his issues have not been spoken to the world in so long. We've been we've been devoid of, of what this person is is mad about in his life that he would like to share with an audience and have voted upon against four other people's issues. So Andrew, tell me, my friend. What is the largest issue tonight that you're going to bring in? The largest issue of the night Okay, are Apple Watches. Oof. On board. Immediately on board. Fuck Apple. Mm. <laughs> Win. Vote for Andrew. <laughs> I know he likes Apple, but vote for Andrew to prove to him that he's wrong. Apple fanboy. Love 
the AirPods, think they're great. AirPod Pros, even better. The Pro Maxes, they're expensive, but maybe they're good. I don't know. The Whatever the fuck their laptop is, great. Seen it in action. Think the idea of it is great and cool. The shit that Apple does with their phones, great, love them. Love the iPhones from the 11 to the 14, the 15, a little iffy on it still. But give it two or three years and it'll be alright. But then there's the Apple Watch. The worst smartwatch on the market. With no debates. The shit doesn't do anything is the issue. There, you can barely send messages on the bitch. You can't draw dicks like what Smosh said you could. You can't fucking... You can't do anything. It's useless. It's a Christmas gift gone bad. Give or take. <laughs> I'm saying this knowing that my mom can hear me in the next room over. But didn't that's the okay. new Apple Watches drop like around Christmas? Oh, See, look you say, didn't no, they drop the last right thing, around Christmas? The last thing that we've heard about Apple Watches is that Apple is getting sued by another company for Apple stealing the technology of someone else and putting it into their watches. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Wasn't off like some sensor? It was some sensor. Or some sort like of that. sensor thing that doesn't help you in the slightest. Like it doesn't matter. Like a watch is a watch. It can tell you time at the start at the base model of an Apple Watch. Good fucking luck figuring out what fucking time it is. You better learn how to fuck to fucking change the clock. Confusing as shit. You can have your own phone. You could have a separate phone number for your watch as you could with your actual phone, which I think is not helpful. At all. It's a great way to charge someone 50 more dollars to have a phone for a watch. But Andrew, if I have my a phone watch, then I can have that, and I can make my ringtone the Power Rangers communicator sound, and I can pretend I'm a Power Ranger when I get a phone oh call on my God, watch. God, I fucking hate you so goddamn much. It's not <laughs> worth it. The Apple Watch is so bad. Okay. I, I, oh, wait. No, you need a watch for that. N never mind. I'll, I'll, sh I'll shut up now. There are three Apple Watches. The... At least I think there are three, like, main versions right now. There's the Apple Watch SE, which is the one that I have. The Series 9, which is $200 more. And then there's the Ultra 2, which is $500 more than the SE. I mean, I hate to say it, your problem just right there is having an Apple device, because, you know, Apple... So Let's oh fucking God, you're go! All red -pilled yes! Yes! Gingy base Gingy! The, I don't care what his issue is. Everybody vote for Gingy because he's based. Alright, bro. Talk to me I when mean, your camera can take nice videos. I don't give a fuck! Who uh, cares? I, I could talk to you right now. My Galaxy S23 Ultra has better camera than your shitty iPhone. Okay, green bubble. <laughs> well, plus here's my thing. Color blind. How I don't long, give a fuck. How long did it take for fucking Apple to adopt USB Type C? How Shit, many people still they don't were like forced it? Forced to take that because of their fucking uh, what's the word monopoly style bullshit they got fucking going on over there. Yeah, their lightning Apple port has that was historically great. took ideas that Android has had for fucking years. Yeah, and they do it better. Just Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. All right, buddy. All right. I mean, oh. love to you as a person, man, but <laughs> shitty phone. It's not. You're going to say it's a shitty phone. You're going to quote. Oh, yeah. The iPhone 50 has a shitty durability because Jerry rig everything was able to damn near I break mean, the thing I, in I, half. I will just say that the iPhone titanium only has a super tiny bit of actual fucking titanium in the goddamn phone. And the only, uh, and again, no shit on you or any other Apple users. The only positive thing I will say about iOS is that it's OS. It's way better. Is, is it? No, it's it, stupid it is. simple. It, it, it is it, stupid that, simple for brain dead people to use this phone without too much difficulty. That's why everyone loves the iPhone. Because it's so brain dead stupid. Yes, you are correct. And it's so much better than every android phone that i've ever had in my life and ever will have 
Uh, you poor deluded soul. Everyone is entitled oh, to their own wrong poor, opinions. Poor stupid dummy who can't even make the best use out of his Android phone. He just wants the shitty fucking baby UI that the fucking iPhone will provide him. Poor boy. Okay, Riley, tell him. Talk to me when you can upload a video on time. <laughs> oh, well, that's nothing to do with an Android device, God buddy. Fired. I do that on my computer. <laughs> Holy yeah, the shit. issue is you can't do a basic thing, so you can't understand complex things. No, you see, I'm different. That's like that's like yeah, you're my retarded. Autism. That's your I, yeah. I, I like <laughs> you're retarded. Things. That's what I don't know how to do the simple things. <laughs> you had to ride the short. They couldn't put you on the short bus in school because you were too fucking fat. The bus couldn't <laughs> move with you on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Listen, they're gonna go up on time from now on. I'm sorry. All right, buddy. Fuck I, that savage. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I, do you you don't think it will? But I'm I'm determined now. That's my New Year's resolution. I've made a couple days late, but that's fine. <laughs> it's gonna happen now. Yeah. My sure. New Year's resolution was I was gonna stop trying to eat sugar, and I ate two donuts today, so that resolution's fucked. <laughs> but this one, <laughs> this one, I'm gonna do. All right, buddy. All right. See, I'm trying to find and tell you differences between the Apple Watches to maybe explain why this thing can be priced 150 to $500 more. I just can't. I physically can't tell you other than this is just the best way to it's flex on someone. It's for rich someone. 1% or jack-offs to be like, ooh, I spent $5 million on my Apple Watch. Hmm. It's a fucking <laughs> flex, and that's it. You can maybe type on the Series 9 and the Ultra 2. You can't on the SE. Um, that's not very helpful. Have you ever tried to type on a screen that's fucking maybe? It. Yeah, it's fucking impossible. That, I have a, I have the Galaxy smartwatch tree or whatever the fuck it's called, and yeah, I've, I've given up. Is it just as bad thing. as an Apple it Watch? Really I is. So. It really is. It's super tiny become, keyboard. I would just become one of those fascinated with technology boomers who just com- text only through text to speech and does not proofread that at all is like my mother like honest to god <laughs> the only reason that i will give ios is that it is brain dead simple for people who don't get technology i have to fucking and only translate. the smarter more sophisticated people actually use android because I, I mean personally i like the customization. Android, but all right I have to fucking translate every text my mom sends because she just uses text to speech and does not proofread. And it's just. I mean, that's Man, a fucking I... skill nowadays to be able to translate, talk, to, uh, teach, or fucking. Actually, I've, I've never had an issue. I have to read it. it. It's just like, hmm. What See, is that? Apple's text to speech isn't total dog ass. And when you actually say something, it can put it out there. Like, I'm I not do gonna... feel bad for. I, and I read this this news story before, like I'm done, like commenting on iOS shit. That there was a legitimate woman that was born with the name Siri, and she was born before Apple had their fucking AI assistant shit, and she had to change her fucking name because Apple was like, "Hey, Siri is our name." Oh, that does suck. I kind of feel bad for her. Wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. Hold on, I think I tuned out at the wrong moment. They made somebody change their name? Yep. Hold on. That's not, no way. They made her I'm change her real right name? Now. Mm-hmm. Siri Price told the yeah, son yeah, you got that it. she had to... She had to change her name to stop iPhones from pinging her every time someone tried to call her out by her name. Oh, okay, I mean, so it wasn't, it wasn't Apple, like, sued her to change your name. It was that... People would call out to her and it'd trigger every iPhone in the room. And it was like, uh, I guess I can't do this anymore. Let's see. Fuck, she changed her name, too. I don't know. She changed her name to Alexa. Oh, that's even more. She changed it to Oh. Says that's uh, no, her name's shitty. Alexa now, so you know, now her I'm name sure should just be Alexa anymore. Change it. No, she changed it to Cortana because she knows nobody uses it, so she's safe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, does Cortana even work? If I say, Hey, Cortana, is Cortana gonna pop up? No, Cortana has never popped up once in my life. I think Microsoft is the king of just uh, bad idea, like, uh, ideas that sound pretty good on paper. No, that would be Google. Well, no, uh, like, I, I think, like, you know, they, uh, 
they're like, hey, let's make something called Cortana. And then they'll hit like a small snag <laughs> and they're like, I'm bored. I don't want to play with you anymore. And it's like a multi-billion dollar idea just flushed down the toilet just because they didn't, they couldn't be asked to, to fucking just like. Sounds you like know, you're talking about Google vote. there, Mo. Well, Microsoft and Google. You know how bad I want a Google Glass, bro? That was a good idea. They fucking threw it in the trash. You know, I, I think that was a bad idea. Because people would like go, oh god, what a pretentious prick. Hey, Google uh, uh, Google Glass, uh, 95 tabs of scat porn. And they would open up fucking 95 uh, yeah. uh, tabs of scat porn. <laughs> because it's all fucking voice activated. And people just don't know how to... Uh, um, they they don't know how to uh, uh, fucking customize it themselves, you know. So it's fucking funny, dude. Google they lasts. dropped the bag on that. They fumbled the bag on that about as bad as WWE fumbles the bag on their signings, man. Hey, oh, oh, what was their sign? What's their recent signings? Are oh, you know, in a horror a game right now? I keep hearing your door open and close, and it sounds like a horror game door. Oh, no, like that's that's, that's me moving my mic. Oh, it sounds like it sounds like how a door opening sounds in a horror game, just like a. But I think like, see, my thing is with like with WWE sometimes it's like they have like they they sign like an overabundance of talent, and rarely some of them ever get utilized. Yeah, uh, them and uh, AEW are having that problem right now. Like Tony Khan's just uh, uh, he's signing too many people and, you know, because uh, Jack Swagger, I think, or the Miz. No, no. Jack Swagger Jack. Uh, is uh, a free agent now. And like he's only got like one other place to go. I mean, I guess you can go to Impact, but I, I like Impact, too, a whole lot. Like, I think it's really, really cool. Impact, but, uh, from what I heard, is going back under TNA now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed their name, which is fine. Which is for why, the why use any of your other talent when you have Logan Paul, right? I mean, no, is Logan Paul die. never please there. Please die. Trust me, I would love to see Logan Paul as a full time wrestler. I I want to see him do a fucking. You know what? Never mind. I'll be nice. Yeah, no, Mo was... Diggity is just convinced <laughs> that once you have a YouTube channel, you're not allowed to do anything else in life. Get rid you're of not him, allowed to. Fucking KSI, fucking Bad Bunny, go away. They're the all great. Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny is a yeah. fucking talented wrestler. Bad Bunny has put the work in. Who the hell is you Bad Bunny? Oh, the just, biggest. I, I oh just my god, Riley, you're I just moved. don't. I just don't think that YouTubers should be in professional sports. That's all. They're not. Bad Bunny they're isn't not even YouTubers. a YouTuber. You can have a YouTube channel and get popular on YouTube and do other shit. You're are not you just a YouTuber saying forever. With a fucking straight face that these people are not YouTubers. You're not just a YouTuber forever. If you move on and make a different career choice, you're not just a YouTuber forever. You can do other things. Yeah, you can but decide you can, like, to go into another that career don't, path. Like, you know, like, shit up my favorite hobby. You know, like, go away. <laughs> they don't shit like, up your favorite I hobby. They, they make your favorite like, hobby about millions more dollars because uh, of the name recognition. I, I bet a million fucking bucks right now of Logan Paul's money that all the fucking Pokemon fans are so Logan happy. Paul's money. Uh, they're so happy that they're fucking uh, that he's out of the fucking uh, 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 Pokemon fucking phase phase. Well, I mean, he I bought mean, like a, he bought like a fake Pokemon cards for a billion dollars or something. That was pretty funny. That was pretty good. Yeah, see, that's the thing, man, because everyone's sort of like, go, oh, well, fucking Logan Paul is fucking stupid. And Logan Paul likes your favorite hobby. Therefore, people who like your hobby, you are stupid. You're a Logan Paul. They're basically calling me a Logan Paul to my face, and I'm disgusted by it. My mom bought me fake Pokemon cards for Christmas. I should. I, I need to put up a picture of this fucking package. It's like, obviously, bless her heart, she has no way to know, but it's the most fake-ass Pokemon card pack I've ever seen in my life. It's the most, like, they made this fucking packaging in Photoshop with all the Google image <laughs> fucking results for Pokemon. Like, it's... The, the cards look genuine enough. Like, it has, like, the right art on the back and shit, at least. I haven't looked at the actual cards so they haven't opened the pack yet but the pack is like the most obvious fake, fake pokemon card pack you've ever seen in your fucking life it was so funny how is mm. one able to do that 
I don't know. Like big fake Pokemon cards. Assumedly, That's she bought them on mom. Amazon. You'd think they'd have security against those ty- that type of thing. Why would Amazon have security against those type of things? I don't know. Because brand integrity? Fuck get the to, brand Get your integrity. shit together, Bezos. My God. Yeah, but he makes more money if he doesn't get his shit together. That's you fair. know, quick, quick little Bezos side tangent. You know, it's kind of funny. It was a couple of days ago. Uh, like about uh, the day after Christmas, uh, Bezos came out and said, I'm going to give most of my billions to charity. And everyone's like, "Uh oh, someone got visited by three ghosts. <laughs> yeah, as one of them named Epstein, the other Clinton. Um... <laughs> Possibly quite actually. The I'm not I'm going to be on files past. <laughs> hey Bill, remember when you had sex with that twelve-year-old? Oh, oh, it's on the paper piper, bitch. He got visited by the ghosts of Jeffrey Epstein, Jared Fogle, uh, and fucking Art. What Kelly. the fuck is this show right now? Oh yeah, that happened. Yeah, this happens sometimes. Oh, uh, this is fucking funny. <laughs> This I'm is the show where we talk about pedophiles. That's the show. That's always been the show. It's the show where we all gather and Thank we talk about... Thank you for having me. This, this, we, is, this has been a fucking highlight. Jesus we, Christ. We talk about the 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 ins and outs and legalities and, and moral no, 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 no. Hold regarding on. pedophilia. That sounds, that's what we do that's, around uh, okay. here. No, no, wait. Hold, hold, hold on. That sounds a little bit sussy. Hold up. For the baka. Okay. Uh, no, no, not necessarily. Uh, we don't talk about the legalities. It's... In Fucking Minecraft, toes dead. To say in Minecraft, in, in the balls, just kick, kick, kick with steel toes on. <laughs> Gross. Correct. <sighs> anyway, anyway, so uh, all right, th- this topic got too real here, so let's go ahead and just uh, uh, switch gears here for a sec. Is Did anyone play Classic Wow? Oh God, I okay. Have a- I haven't played Classic WoW in years, Mo. Dude, 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 you should renew your subscription and play Wrath of the Lich King with me. I'm leveling up a 14-level uh, fucking uh, wizard or uh, well, warlock right now. She's a little gnome. She's badass. You know, that's one of my favorite fucking episodes of South Park is mm-hmm. Make Love Not Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of the best. It, it's It's a real good one. Everybody, hold on. Nobody, nobody in the nobody can see this except for uh, everybody here. But I, I just have something to show Jinji real quick that I, I really thought he should see. <laughs> <laughs> what I have, I folks, send is you a, to Jesus. What I have, folks, is a, is a Diglett <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> card. Uh, it's a Diglett. He's got a statue of also a Diglett behind him. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Shit, I'm out. <laughs> Gingy has flipped me off. I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to hold the Diglett towards the camera. I'm now bored of doing that, so I'm gonna you know shut what? the camera off. You, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna show something much more cute than that. This just fucking came in earlier today, but I got a little fucking Aww, 3D printed Tyranitar. Oh my god, it's a little baby Tyranitar. But wait, but wait, I'm about to sham wow you bitches. Oh wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> oh, it's a baby hey! Gengar. Little baby Gengar. Yeah. Arguably, the, my 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 favorite because it looks really fucking clean. Oh, and a right on. Hell yeah. The other well, lesser known Pokemon, Gengar Bangar. Ba- Gengar Bangar. Bangar Gengar. Bangar, Gengar Bangar. Bangar. Think about Riley for a second. I, I, I'm thinking about <laughs> it. I'm not getting there. Gar Bang Gar. Is it just like an obvious sex joke, or is there something I don't get? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Now think about just of course he doesn't closer. get it. <laughs> oh yes, damn. Waka waka waka. All right, all right. Boom roasted. And that's the, that's when I put the gun in my mouth and shoot. <laughs> and then hey, the I didn't get an obvious gangbang joke. <laughs> Oh, no, the funny thing is that like Gar, the, yeah, Gengar, Bangar. Okay, I get it. Okay. And I stole and I stole that joke from Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. So you know, thank you, Kenny. I feel like you could have just said Gang Bangar, and it would have made sense as like a that's the evolution of Gengar, but also it's Gang Bang. I feel like it's Gengar Bangar. Is too he far. said the the sound of Gang by saying Gengar. But he could have either just said Bangar and had it be a bang joke, or just be a gang gang Bangar, because that sounds like because when you a Pokemon evolves, you like put more shit in its name. 
So that so could be the... that's plausible as Gang Bangar. God, what's you're such a fucking joke? nerd. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, I am a nerd. I... <laughs> My mother bought me fake Pokemon cards for Christmas. OK, she she knows what I'm what about. And everybody that, else knows what I'm year? about. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Why? Why are you asking your mommy to buy you Pokemon I didn't cards? ask her to do this. She just bought me a bunch oh of little god. shit, and this is one of the things she bought. Riley, buddy, we got. We might have to have a talk. Fuck you, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking playing World of Warcraft on stream all day. Don't tell me we need to have a talk, you motherfucker. You're trying to take a up my fucking fishing right now, okay? You don't fucking talk shit. Yeah, I fucking do what I need to do. To get I'm my about fucking to do that fucking battle on just to fucking pass by time. Shit. <laughs> See, and here's the funny thing, Riley. You say he Mo plays a lot of WoW, yet the past wow. few times when I've watched this motherfucker stream, he streams other games than fucking WoW. Well, whatever. Fuck you is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Says the little diglet who has to get Pokemon cards. I can't believe Demi Glim started a call in literally 1984 instead of joining this recording. Fucking hey, bitch. Is she there? <laughs> She's with Jason. Oh. No, Andrew, you're not allowed to leave. You can't do it. <laughs> you're locked in for another 56 minutes. <laughs> and I guarantee you, Demi Gloom probably still hates my guts. That's a, that's why she didn't do You know what? Now I know. I didn't even think about that. There we go. Now I, It's not because of any of us. It's because of Kay. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? If I see Demi Gloom, I still have yet to apologize. <laughs> Are you going to apologize to her for what? What did you do to her? I don't even fucking know. You said you you said that like being gay was icky or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that really set her off. <laughs> okay, I think I he might said, have being spoke... gay is so gay. <laughs> I may have spoken favor of the don't say gay bill. Yes, that's what it was. And you know what? I, I, I kind of have a change of heart now. <laughs> Hearts and minds changed. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> okay, let's not get too political here. Who, who else hasn't gone? Well, hold on. Andrew, do you have any final thoughts on Apple Watches? I mean, I don't. I was going to ask Mo why he doesn't why he doesn't like Bad Bunny or, or Logan Paul wrestling when they are competent wrestlers uh i just want them to go away it's youtube you know, yeah it is exactly that good just they just need to go away all right just like go back to youtube <laughs> land good for Yo, we go go back to YouTube, the man. thing is that they're if they're good at what they're doing. If so, if we found out the fucking Markiplier could hit a fucking hundred mile an hour home run and he started playing baseball, we wouldn't be like, oh, he's a YouTuber. He's got to get out. Oh, well, that's <laughs> great. Why don't we just go back to World War Two times and say that, hey, Hitler, I don't like what you're doing, <laughs> but you know you're a good painter. So I guess we're just letting everyone off today. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I don't know if I can. Uh, well, you know, but there could be there could be conversations for Logan Paul. Maybe Logan. for Logan. I don't know, but I don't know about Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> Bad Bunny, the biggest R and B artist out of Central America, and apparently he doesn't make music for gringos. Bad Bunny's a dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that there's like four so or five. Much like a chick name. I figured yeah, this no, was no. Wrestling. There's another. There's a. Uh, uh -huh. uh, there's a former streamer bitch called Bad Bunny. Who uh who <clears throat> she did the uh five dollars guys come on, and then she had her fifteen minutes of fame and she just was Plummeted. discovered just to be a shitty person and no one cared and now she's away. Okay, understandable. That's essentially what happened. Uh, but Mo, you're you're a boomer. Okay, uh, Fuck so you. so what you would. No, no, we're gonna save Jinji for last because I know his issue is good. Uh, so Kang, tell us your issue. So I think I may or may not have talked about this issue, and if I did, I I do apologize. Oh God, I call this piece brand loyalty. Brand loyalty. Okay, I don't. Have you talked about this? I don't we think probably so. talk like about like most of the places we pro most of the things we talked about. We probably had like four or five adjacent issues to like most of them. So you know, I I, I prom I, oh, no, we lost I would just let it go. Uh, hold on, I I have a little uh, a dog that I have to uh, usher back into the house. Hold on. Oh God, 
Fucking damn it. What? Should I just talk about my issue or? No, hold on a sec. So I have a feeling this is going to be like another, I got another fucking like... podcast to do after this one, too. Oh, what's it about? Pixels. Oh, no shit. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. okay, nice, nice. Nice. I mean, if y'all want to come on for that, I'm on. Uh, but I'd be down to come on for it. Uh, uh, maybe not this time, but I'm definitely down for it. I'm just, right, I'm that, getting, I'm, I'm getting started to get a little tired. <laughs> uh, same here, honestly, which is like, God damn it. We need to do this so I can go do that. So I can you go one night before I go. Yeah. Back to kind of entertaining tomorrow. though. I'm, I'm going to say thank you for saying nine night. Cause I, 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 I say nine night. And I, it makes I me feel like that. a stupid fucking kid, but you know, I'm like, fuck it. All right, if I am going to come on the show, I'm probably going to have to join through like my second Discord account because I mean, this please, one... please don't do, uh, come anywhere. I don't, I don't swing that way. I mean, I know <laughs> Riley probably does, but <laughs> <laughs> I probably have to do it that that way because like my Nitro <laughs> expired and I can't really join that many servers because I'm in like over a hundred now. Jesus Christ! I mean, it's just servers. It's just communities I like to hang out in every so often, you know? I mean, fair enough. But also, it totally depends on when we get this shit done. Like, I may have to reschedule, too. Hey, he's back. Well, I guess he's not back, folks. I got a, I got some yelling to do later. Uh, <laughs> Kang. Can you call me when you do it? <laughs> I'll, yeah, I kind of want to watch I mean, that, that'd be kind of kinky. Chat Let's and be just for real here. All right. Anyway, I think I might have talked about this <laughs> issue or not, but I like I, at this point I'm fucking losing it here. So I, I I'm just gonna call this piece brand loyalty. Okay. So we all know the big tech brands and like Samsung, Apple, fucking whole nine. Years. My issue is. I guess you could say it's the largest issue too, but my issue is the fact that each there's like each like stereotypical fucking unlikable douchebag who is willing to like suck off like anybody, anybody in anything who likes the brand. It's the fact that like of course like the brands have like e each like have like their equal amounts of awesome shit they offer. Samsung with their tablets running that fucking desktop OS thing, Samsung Dex, I know. It's actually pretty fucking sweet. Apple with their fucking whatever the fuck they're doing. And shit, I really don't even know where the fuck to go with this. Plus, I would probably also have to say, you know, you know how Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo, we always get a new console every so 10 years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. roughly. <laughs> you know... Like, there's the whole console war. You know, I gotta put it in air quotes, console war, because I think it's a crock of fucking shit. The console war is fucking stupid. PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo have their great fucking games. Sure, PlayStation 5 has no games to buy. They only have a drive that improves load times. One game. That's all I know. Don't know. Someone, <laughs> there, someone gets it. <laughs> it's... It's like people always shit on each other and it's kind of like it gets to the point where it's like at first it's funny to like shit on like people's favorite things like at first because it's like ha, 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 ha. look at uh look at Xbox they got they got fuck shit to do <laughs> the only exclusives they got is Halo <laughs> it's like Sure, the only exclusives we got are fucking Halo and whatnot, and fucking Gears of War. But I fucking love that series, by the way. Mm hmm But it's like, what has Sony done? Sony has, like, Sony has amazing franchises, like Killzone, fucking... God, what, like, name me a few good franchises Sony has. Like, I know they got Horizon? Killzone. That, too. They got God of War. They got fucking um, yeah, Spider Man, Spider Man, the fucking quick time event Marvel movie in a fucking video game. Wait a minute, hold on a second, K. You you fucking shut your mouth. How dare you? What? 
if that's I not fuck, real. Like, I get it. I fucking love the Marvel games. I really do. But come on. They are fucking quick time event movies. It's not that but many in quick fuck- time events. It's, there's a whole combat system. And, like, there's a whole bunch of shit. It's not just. Really sounds like you're not event. marveling at it. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, need to marvel it. at it more. Because, haha, get it? It's like the name of the company. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. It's like. It's like you got to think of it this way. Like every few, like every so mission, when you're trying to pull off a crazy fucking sexy combo, it's always a quick time event. Always a quick time event. <laughs> and if I'm honest, God of War is that same fucking way. Sure, I'm going to get flack for it because, well, fucking Sony fanboys can fucking suck a chud. And if they don't like it, well, that's their problem. You got to think of it this way. Sure, we got the games like Halo, Gears, and whatnot. At least they're... At least they don't have quick-time events. Games can have quick-time events. This is... <laughs> it's they not can, the- but... They... I, I'm not saying they can't have quick-time events, but what I'm saying is they're so, like... From the 2000s onwards, they were so overdone. It's like beating a dead horse. It's like, it's like saying if Space Jam: A New Legacy were a good movie when it's not. <laughs> Plus, I mean, like, yo, so, like, sure, play, like, sure, I talk about good franchises like Killzone and whatnot, but PlayStation has been sitting on that game for fucking years. When are we gonna get a sequel to Shadowfall? God damn it! Never. You will die before we get a sequel to Shadowfall. It's like Your shadow this... will fall before we get a sequel to Shadowfall. It's like at this fucking rate, I will take anything, any crumb of Killzone content I can get at this point. Sony, fucking whoever's the fucking like brand exec, Shigeru Miyamoto, whatever the fuck your name is. I love you guys since my childhood. Sure, I've swatched. Sure, I, sure I switched to Xbox, but. That's a different story, but come on! When are we getting another kill zone? Never. And that's my piece about brand loyalty. Beautiful, beautiful. A round round of applause, everybody. Beautiful, wonderful, folks. My issue is fucking headaches, bro. Fuck headaches. Headaches suck. You just you're, you're trying to go about your day. You're trying to live life. Just just go to work. Just have a nice normal day at work where you don't want to fucking kill yourself. Um, and then and then your head just decides like, hey buddy, I'm just gonna be in pain real quick. Um, and you don't have the pills on hand to fix that because you're at work. Um, and fuck you, die. Um, and. <laughs> And then, you know, I'm at work and I'm sitting there trying not to fucking just end my life as a preferable alternative to the pain. Uh, just sitting there with my fucking brain on fire and it fucking sucks. I've been getting headaches my whole life. Headaches? You know what? I think headaches are the reason that I'm not an athletic super chat, okay? Because here's what happened, all right? I fucking, the <laughs> young Riley, the ripe age of I'm going to say like 11. Uh, was uh, going to join a football team, and I I went I went to the practices. I went to the first couple of practices, but this was around the time that my headaches started. I've I've struggled with headaches my entire life, um, and it started just around this time. Um, and uh, there was there was one time where I was. I was kind of back and forth on whether I was going to be able to make it through practice. And I made my mom like turn around and turn back a couple times. Um, and then I never went to football practice again. I think that that was the event. That was the breach in the timeline. I could be like a fucking buff super Chad right now, football superstar. I could be in the NFL. And, and the reason I'm not there is because of headaches. Okay. Uh, I, headaches ruined my entire life it's over for me because i got headaches when i was 11 years old and that's that's my villain origin story that's why i'm going to become the joker because at 11 years old i failed to get into the football team because i had too many headaches to go to practice 
<laughs> and it's been a it's been a lifelong struggle. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I've always gotten them, but it's just like ever since I was a little kid. So every once in a while, my head will just be like, no, I don't like being not in pain. I'm going to be in pain now. And it's just, it's, a, it's an inescapable phenomenon that has followed me like a fucking specter for my entire life. Um, and I can't stop it. And now it's getting to the point where my body has become resistant to ibuprofen. <laughs> and even that doesn't work very well anymore. <laughs> oh, kind of like me and my ADHD. Yeah, kind of like that. And let me tell you, like, I always say, like, oh, hey, like, people always ask me, hey, isn't having ADHD fun? Don't you, don't you no, enjoy that? No, it is that? not. No, it is not. It is. F- this is me speaking as one ADHD person to another. This shit sucks. It, it, it It's not fun, like, in any way, shape, or fucking form. No, it is not. Not in the slightest. It is I mean, like I... the, it is like the voices of a thousand rages yelling in your head twenty four fucking seven. Damn it! It is like every porn star being bent over on a couch and fucking gang banged. Is that a good way of putting it? Would would that be? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you laughing in the background. <laughs> so, uh, Riley, what were you going on about headaches? <laughs> they're just they're the worst and it's it's just something that's followed me for my entire life and it really i've had a lot of my worst experiences in life have just been like dealing with a really fucked headache and just like laying in my bed trying to fall asleep not being able to or like being at work and trying to fucking push through and not leave early so that my paycheck doesn't suck um and just it's it's a fucking specter I oh, I'm sorry it. to hear that, buddy. Let me know if you would like a giant hug. I, I I would always love a giant hug at all times. The day the day we ever do like MoCast Alive at like a live studio event, dude, I I, I will give you a fucking bear hug, dude. We were so we were so <laughs> close. We were so we almost did that. So close I could almost taste it, but the, it didn't work out. Yeah, people the lost their jobs and all that stuff. It was not fun. We almost uh, was that? Did you lose your job around that time? I, 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 uh, I fucking lost one of my jobs. I got transferred to another one. I just yeah, we almost we almost did. Ro- Robin was was coming to my neck of the woods, and we almost did the MoCast takes Florida, and it did not. It did not pan out. Dude, I mean, you you guys would have to make a small trip to come get me, but we we would have made that shit work. I don't even think we might not have even known you back then. That, that that's how long ago this was. We got a Oh no, the, it was earlier this year, so we knew Kang, but he wasn't on. Well, we didn't like, like know time. Kang. Kang was like well, just like no, a guy. I, I, I knew Kang. I've known Kang since 2019. Well, me yeah, and Robin I, didn't know Kang. Kang was just like yeah, a, yeah, a guy yeah. that was around, but now now he's Wait, one shit, of our Wait, shit. Yeah, best you've known me you've known me since the old days of Rora's uh fucking server. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I got a lot of the new friends that I have now. God, that was wow. And now and now Kang's a member of the family, but not a member of the issue crew, because Demi Gloom said no. <laughs> you know what, like I said, I am willing to apologize to Demi Gloom. I am. See the the, the 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 thing about Demi Gloom is that like now that she hates you, she's constructed this narrative that you're not funny and it's impossible for you to be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I am shocked. Her, her Kang impression is actually really I really like the bit she does, as mean as it is. She's, she's like, hold on, I'm going to be Kang. Riley, say something funny. And, and the, the criticism she always gives is you'll laugh at anything, even if it's not a joke. So like she'll be like, hold on, I'm going to be Kang. Say something. And then I'll like start a sentence, and then she'll just like break out the laughter, and it's actually really <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, get you know this. What? Right. Sorry, go ahead. You know what? I may break out into laughter, but at least it is my laugh track that counts. <laughs> That's fair. You have a good laugh track. Uh, as much as Redox would disagree, I, I I say your laugh is great. Yeah, well, Redox is Redox. Why the fuck would we have to like do anything agreeable for Redox? Yeah, no, it's impossible to please Redox. He literally will his his complaints contradict each other all the time. He just wants to fuck with me. He is like a woman that has to finish herself off with a dildo. 
It's the perfect way to describe Redox, I think. And I'm I'm so torn. I'm so sad that he doesn't listen to this show to hear that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't have much left to say on headaches. It's just it's kind of it's a, again, it's one of these very relatable issues. I know you out there, you, the viewer, you, Jason, I want you to put a fucking finger pointing at the viewer right now on the screen. You, the He's viewer, S seven, you, the viewer has had a headache before and it's bad and you don't like that. So you should vote for me. And that's what I'm, that's, that's the bottom line. Cause headaches, everybody's got them. Nobody likes them. They're bad. They're you bad. Know what? Is it wrong that I wanted to say, and that's the bottom line because headaches said so is it, is that wrong? Uh, is that a reference? I don't get. That's a ref- wrestling reference. Ah, you bitch. How dare you? God, leave it, leave it to this filthy casual to not no understand wrestling. wrestling. No, I've never watched wrestling once in my entire existence. Never happened. <laughs> this Headaches. is fucking funny. This is fucking funny here. Went to get a haircut today. Barber, what do you do for a living? Me, I'm a writer. What about you? Barber, dot, dot, dot. I'm a barber. We didn't speak for the rest of the haircut. I'm happy to announce that I shall never be interacting with another human being again. What do you do? I'm a writer. Okay, where is the hair that I'm supposed to be cutting right now? Oh, that's funny. It's a Maddox reference. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, You're so def- funny. You're being topical. I'm the, f- I'm the funniest guy in the whole wide world, okay? That's me. That's Riley, the funniest man. That's my tagline. Riley and friends. The, welcome to the funniest man on the internet's YouTube channel. That's I'm, I'm putting that on the I'm putting that on the banner now. I'm having Jason change the banner. Welcome welcome to the funniest man on the planet's internet channel on YouTube. That's that's my new tagline. <laughs> but to play us out, our final issue of the evening goes to the soulless ginger himself. Hit us with it. Oh, okay. It's my turn now. Sorry, yes. I was, I was, uh, I was falling asleep over here. You know, <laughs> you, you know, fucker, falling asleep live on here. <laughs> but anyway, my issue is fa- essentially fan projects being shut down. Maybe, maybe try disconnecting and reconnecting again. Your mic's doing that thing. Is it better now? Yes. Yep. My issue is fan game shutting down. All right, let's hear it. So I can understand. You know, like, uh, you know, the D- DNCAs or whatever they're called, you know, the the cease and desist of some of the projects. Like, I can understand the spirit of it. Like, if someone made a fan project of your IP and they're making money off of it and you are getting no cut of it, I'd understand in that case. But if you have a fan base that is so passionate about your IP that just wants more content and you are not putting out said content, why the fuck shut it down? As long if it's if it's not harming the IP in in, in general, why 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 shut it down? Like I I've mentioned this before. Um one of my favorite IPs that I have, you know, been been a part of for the last ten years or so before it was shut down is called Brave Frontier. And it was a mobile game. They shut the servers down a couple of years ago. And I've been torn ever since. Because any sort of Brave Frontier IP does not exist anymore. Like, there's no medium to enjoy this game for what it was. And I am following very closely to a fan project called Brave Frontier Recoded. And they're building that game from from the ground up. And they're not... And the, the, the caveat to this is that they're not selling it. They're not going to charge us to play this game. They're just making it so that we can enjoy Brave Frontier for what it was. And honestly, I am absolutely terrified that this project is going to get the axe before it comes out. And if that's the case, why don't you... Like, Capcom did this recently, you know, because they they put out their mobile game called Mega Man X Dive. And they they announced that they were shutting the servers down for that game, so it's going to be unplayable. So Capcom did the right fucking thing here. Now, granted, you had to pay th- you know thirty bucks for it. I snagged it when it was on sale for twenty, but they made a separate app, same game, but it's an offline version where you have 
everything from that game in this in this app that you can play offline. Like, why why can't companies just do that? Uh, you know, because if, fuck the consumer. That's pretty just, much. It, it pretty much is. It really is. It's like you can still make money off of your IP if you just make an offline version. Like, that's it. That's all I want. I've played Brave Frontier for over 10 fucking years. 10 years of my life. Over a third of my, my life on this planet is poof, gone. Because of because of this fucking game, and it it sucks. It fucking sucks that I can't enjoy this IP anymore, which is which gets me so excited about this fan project. It's like don't 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 ax it, and 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 that goes for fan projects in general, like Pokemon. Uh, oh, what's that yeah, one as Pokemon fans, we are well acquainted with fan games getting fucking crumbled to dust before their time. That that is uh that is a mainstay in the Pokemon world. And it's like I can understand if it harms the IP, but if someone is generally pouring their fucking life and soul into it, you know, paying homage, then obviously, you know, not making fucking money off of it. Why why ax it? Let people enjoy your fucking IP. Or if you don't want people to do fan made shit, then you fucking do it. You put out the fan, you know, more more content for people to fucking enjoy. I mean, to be devil's advocate, not not specifically with your Brave Frontier thing, because that's that's definitely a case where um, they're not making money off of the IP anyway, because they shut it down. Uh, but when it comes to like fan games for established franchises, I think the fact of the matter is, and the reason why these takedowns do happen. Um, is because uh, at the end of the day, you're not profiting off the thing, but if you're putting out this really cool thing that involves like the Pokemon IP, for example, for free, who's to say that everybody's not going to go play that when they would have, if it hadn't existed, purchased a copy of, say, Pokemon Scarlet and or Violet. That's why I don't feel bad about like old Nintendo games like from the NES and SNES era. Because a lot of those studios don't even fucking exist anymore. So it should be a big deal if uh, if I pirate it. Or if uh, what I, studios? I do a fan. Oh, uh, well, like 989 Studios, for example. That's a PlayStation one. But there's a lot of studios that have just crumbled into dust over like the last, like, oh, how old am I? Oh, like 40-something years? I guess so, I, I yeah, don't watch yeah. a lot of most side gaming, but I feel like all the NES games I've seen you stream are like Contra and Capcom, or not Contra and Capcom, Contra and Castlevania, both oh, well, made by yeah. Capcom. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but I that was you made know, by Konami. Um, oh no, no, yeah, no. It, yeah, Contra was Konami, uh, and the other one was Capcom. The other one I said, well, like Castlevania. Hudson, uh, Hudson B or Hudson Soft, I think it's called. I mean, look up dead uh, uh, game studios from like the old, old days, right? Bring some of it's back fucking, Bloody Roar. Some of it's fucking ha- heartbreaking. Like, dude, I miss 989 Studios. I miss old EA, too. Challenge everything. But, uh, no, but, uh, but to go to your EA point... Sports. It's in the game. Ugh. God. Ugh. Uh, but uh, going back what you're talking about, Jinji, uh, yeah, many, many years ago, there was a fan project for Chrono Trigger that everyone was super, super hyped for. Uh, Nintendo heard about it and shut that shit the fuck down. And uh, it is a shame when fra- when fan projects get shut down. Wait, because- Nintendo doesn't have the right to do that. Was it a hack of the Super Nintendo game? No, it, it was, uh, uh, they were doing a Chrono Trigger uh, 3D uh, uh, remake of the first game. Well, that, well, that would have been Square Enix that shut that down, right? I don't think Nintendo has the right to no, uh, Chrono I think Trigger. Ni- Doesn't Nintendo own fucking Chrono Trigger now, or whoever it is? No, I don't think No, Nintendo I'm pretty sure it's Square Chrono. Enix. Huh. Okay, you know what? All right. Uh, N- Nintendo has shut down a lot of fan projects, I guess, is what I, the That's point. true. I was, I was going to make, but I guess I'm wrong on that one. Whoever owns fucking Chrono Trigger right now, that company shut them down. But uh, also to expand a point even further, uh, fucking World of Warcraft Blizzard uh, shut down uh, uh, a few private servers that just held Classic. 
And the outrage from the community was so severe and so loud that they calmed the fuck down, rescinded their cease and desist stuff on them and a few other servers. And because of what they did, because uh, Blizzard chilled out, invited all the people who were Unintended. running the Huh? <laughs> You said chill out, and we're talking about Blizzard, pun intended. Oh, well, oh, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, Mo, Mo totally meant that the whole time. He's totally a comedian, guys. Let's, let's oh, do yeah. it. It's real. I'm, I'm so, comedically, I'm so deep. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, they invited them over to Blizzard HQ in Austin, Texas. And a few years later, after the you think you do, but you don't uh, debacle, a uh, classic World of Warcraft came back. So, yeah, there's something to be said about community outrage and, like, speaking out against it. Because it doesn't work all the time, but sometimes it works. Yeah, I re- and I mean, like, uh, uh, again, just I kind of get the idea behind it, but, like, be cool about it. Like, companies like Nintendo and, like, a lot of other companies have not been cool about it. I think the one story I've heard... Uh, that was really cool, um, and I I don't know if I'm getting the details right. I believe it was Resident Evil Two. Uh, there was a there was a fan project to remake Resident Evil Two, and there was also a real project remaking Resident Evil Two at the time. Um, so uh, Capcom, I believe, was the company behind Resident Evil. They uh, they shut down the fan project, but like they inv- they like were kind of apologetic about it and they like they invited the team like out to their studios and like showed them what they were working on and shit and it was cool yeah oh well, that's that's good that's they good. they showed some base level of respect and like uh appreciation for the work that the dev team put in even though they had to shut it down for the for the sake of their own profit off of their intellectual property they at least respected them and gave them something i remember what the the fact that mo was talking about the um the big problems Blizzard had with WoW back in the day. I remember, I think at one point, there was a streamer I watched named Soda Poppin. Mm-hmm. He was talking about it. He even, um, there was an old, like, community classic WoW server called Nostarius. They got shut down by Blizzard because of the whole classic WoW debacle. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's the uh, uh, the server I was talking about. I I kind of forgot the name of it. Yeah, and the cool thing is they got I think a guy called Mark Kern to even go on Soda's channel and basically say, "Hey Blizzard, here's basically thousands of fans like signed in paper, like stack like fucking stacks of papers." Of them wanting Nostarius in Classic WoW to come back. That is probably one of the moments where I've seen the most dedicated, the most fucking insane fan base come together and preserve something as big as that. And it's fucking incredible. That's yeah, pretty sick. So, yeah, dialing back. It's, it's just killing fan projects. But especially... <sighs> Yeah, again, I understand like the current IP and profit and stuff like that, but and the case and my main driving point with Brave Frontier, if you have no nothing out there for your IP, absolutely nothing, don't kill these fan projects. Unless if you are going to bring something else, something like that out commercially, don't fucking kill pr- uh, fan projects for people Jinji, who just people, want to enjoy it. Jinji, if people can play Brave Frontier for free, they won't mourn the loss of brave frontier by buying officially licensed brave frontier t-shirts and there then, isn't any that's the uh, thing riley okay there okay. isn't mm. there is literally nothing and, and the, for, and, unless if it's like fucking third party obscure like japan shit that's why i want to go to japan so bad is i want to track some of this buy shit a brave down frontier t-shirt fuck yeah dude <laughs> Do you know I'm passionate, people? very passionate about this project, and I, I, I don't want to see it shut down. I really don't. Yeah, fan projects have really been uh, just fan projects in general for any medium have just are are just full of like such special things that like so so much good has come from fan projects that it's really a shame that it's such a such a such such murky water and such like a risk anytime somebody wants to undertake like a legitimately like passionate like hard working fan project because 
there's always the chance that fucking d- daddy Nintendo or daddy whoever is going to come at you and be like, no, nah, you can't do that. Fucking Fan project. Bitches. It's a lost start. Fucking AM2R got shut down. Uh, the the Metroid 2 uh, fan remake got shut down for the for the 3DS remake that I've heard was really shitty. Uh, there, the countless Pokemon fan games, Pokemon Ura- Uranium, uh, Pokemon Prism. I'll be right back. Uh, so so many so many losses have have been suffered. I think. I think Mario 64 HD got co- copy struck by Nintendo. Somebody made like a demo of Mario 64 in Unity and Nintendo fucking killed them. Pokemon Brick Bronze, the the fucking Roblox project that had to have taken so much blood, sweat and tears to make work within the fucking Roblox engine. It was a fully functioning uh from what I'm told really good Pokemon game. Um and they got axed. Fucking that's what I'm saying. Vote for my issue, people. Let me win one for once. <laughs> Jinji can't win anything in his life. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna program the poll so that Jinji's issue's on there, but you can't vote for it. It just th- rejects your vote if you do. It filters the vote into my issue if you vote for Jinji. And this <laughs> is why that Riley's just a. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up my own voting system. I'm gonna pay thirty thousand dollars to a it's man in the UK to make a website so I can have my own voting system. I'm going to filter all of Jinji's votes butter. into mine. That's okay. I don't want to vote for me anyway. Is that real? Is that Kang arguing with his parents' footage live? I don't know what it was. It was just slight talking in the background. Uh, oh, the folks, sorry about that, boys. Was that, the, was that the live Kang argues with his parents' audio? Yep. <laughs> I feel like our editor is secretly also picking out the moments. King fighting boomers, a wild compilation. Our editor does not do. I'm I'm not even convinced that our editor listens to the whole thing anymore. I'm starting to. Some suspicion is starting to be garnered that that maybe maybe he's out there phoning it in. Uh, this is completely unbi- unbased suspicion that I'm just saying to fuck with you, Jason. Um, if this you is, are in fact listening, <laughs> this is phoned in like the Jeffrey Epstein client. If that list. is your real name. Dun dun. <laughs> Done. I think J- I think Jason's on that flight log. If you look really closely, it says Jason Xenoblade Chronicles on that flight log. I think I think it's over for him. Jason is over party. Hashtag trending. But gamers, that's an issue crew in the books, folks. I think we did it. Hooray. Unless you had any, I, I forgot to ask you for final thoughts, Genji. My bad. My courtesy is off. Final thoughts for my issue. Hmm. It's it's the same thing. Like if you have a established IP and you have nothing out there, you know, to like officially like support yourself, right? To make a profit off of, don't kill fan projects. Just don't. Or because you you know the cost of maintaining servers. Totally understand that. Make an offline version of your game. Sell it just like Capcom did. Like fucking perfect bow on this metaphorical cake here or box present, whatever, make an offline version, sell it for 20, 30 bucks and call it good. Yeah. Then you can continue to profit forever off of this game that you fucking, you programmed an entire video game. And then rather than just like deleting it from the face, of the planet forever, you can just like put up a version that doesn't have all the online shit and charge people 20 exactly. bucks for it. And then the fu- exactly. th- there's probably a couple thousand suckers out there who are going to do it. Um, yep, and I will. then, yeah, I'll buy and on then multiple you're, devices. I don't give a then fuck. you've made more money and you didn't have to do Ooh. any work. Dude, that's yeah, why. like the fucking chef's kiss. Capcom fucking great making an offline version of Mega Man X dive. That's Perfect. why I pirate most of my games, honestly, like the old games that were like taken offline and fucking like made not buyable anymore by big fucking Yar, corporations. Fiddly D. <laughs> fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah ra- ra- raise your sails, raise your flags, everybody. We're going. Uh folks yeah, do, do you care about copy because I mean we're talking about pirates. Can I play that dun 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 no <laughs> nah we don't want to risk you, getting you uh, singing it is better than you playing it. Uh yeah plus we don't want to we don't want to risk getting a copy strike. But yeah, you have wanna, heard of me. Can I copy strike this guy? Can we copy strike 
uh, the issue crew. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Get the issue crew down! Fuck these guys! No, no, we only get hate speech strikes on the issue crew, okay? We're not savages. <laughs> Used by uh, certain uh, people. Certain people, certain N words being dropped, like uh Oh, that's not what happens. <laughs> rhymes no. with the friendly lion from Listen, my the recording of me saying the N-word never made it to air, okay? That's not what happened. Um, folks. <laughs> thank you for listening to the issue crew. Jinji, where can our listeners find you? Uh besides crying myself to sleep, you can find me on X uh Raging Gingy or Peep Half Gingy. No, yeah, Raging Gingy. See, I don't even know my own shit. I'm this fucking tired. Um Raging Gingy spelled with two G's because Gingy yes. is literate. It's a running joke at this point. It's too late for me to fix it. Like don't at, don't fucking at ragging, at me. go to at ragging gingy on Twitter and that's how you'll find him. Uh I I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash uh P P A F Gingy. I Excuse me, just started uh, the other day playing Assassin's Creed 3. Because uh, I finished Revelations the other day. And once I am done with 3, I'm going to take a brief break from Assassin's Creed because I made the commitment that I was going to go through all of them. Uh, friend of my Twitch stream uh, redeemed some channel points. So I'm going to be playing to Sea of Stars after I finish 3. Uh... I also run a video game podcast that Riley is a part of, Pixels, Polygons, and Fun. You can listen to that to wherever. Dude, you've been a host for a while now. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> I, we never <laughs> established that. <laughs> I was Dude, never that was properly, like fucking unspoken when I, I pulled you back on. I re-inducted. I okay, thought I was the next guest. time you're on the show, I will proper No. At least I haven't thought of you as a guest. Okay, well, fuck it. I'm back. <laughs> I was about to, ma- I was, I was literally about to make the, uh, you know, I really liked, I, I think all the episodes from August, 2021 and prior are really no, good. dude. Like <laughs> since, since you've been back, I've considered you a host, but yeah, okay. I guess I never officially stated that Riley is back. So I guess I'll say it here. Yes. Riley is a part of pixels, polygons and fun. You can listen to that to wherever podcasts are found. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you have any questions for me, DM me on my ears. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I never remember it until the moment you say it, but it still pisses me off every time. Kang, tell the listener. Well, well, of course, you lovely ladies and gentlemen, they's, thems, can find me on the Guys, lovely... gals, and non-binary pals. JDs and little men. <laughs> JDs and little men. <laughs> D- well, I mean, anyways. That, that, that came from a fucking dude who is like, gay, and this is how, how many blank can hold me. And this motherfucker pulls the random ass shit. I, I think he did one, did one where he's like, this is how many Gogurts can fucking hold me. <laughs> Wait, is this well, the same guy who did like the coat hangers on the, on the yeah, bar? Yeah, that's him. Okay. He, I, I think like he went that. viral or something because I just like saw him on my Twitter timeline doing coat hanger business. Yeah, dude, the <laughs> dude's funny as hell. I love watching his shit. Anyway, well, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Kang. Oh, you're good, buddy. Anyway, you guys can follow me on the lovely platform of Twitter at Grip Ripper Forty Three. That's Grip Ripper Forty Three with a three instead of an R. No, th- no, a three instead of an E. Or er, fuck, a three instead of an E. My bad. God damn it, Riley. Well, you don't even say it at all. Everybody's going to look up Rip Ripper 43, the regular spelling, and they're not going to find you. It'll probably come up, Riley. I have spelt different shit on fucking Twitter, and it has come up. But, you know, some people, if, if people are, you know, if we have any, like, boomers in our audience who um, would be like, okay, I'm going to go to this person's Twitter, and then they go to their URL bar, and they type twitter.com slash Rip Ripper 43, you're not going to come up. Well, I guarantee you. Hang on, let me, let me, let me look at people. Let me, yep, you're probably your height. <laughs> Definitely forget. Don't forget to add the three instead of the e. You're gonna find whole different people that way. <laughs> Low side gaming. Where can they find you? 
You can find me at MSG Official YT on twitter.com forward slash Moside Gaming and at Moside Gaming everywhere on on t- Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, fucking everywhere. Like check it out. Kick.com forward slash Moside Gaming. W.G.G. Use promo code Bo Diggity. Say 10% off your total purchase and uh, check out my link tree in my Twitter description. Hooray. Has everything. Uh, and listen to the MoCast, which I just remembered that we recorded because I was really high when we recorded it. I was <laughs> unreasonably smashed. <laughs> just <laughs> completely off my rocker. It didn't, it didn't go as bad as you would expect, but I... <laughs> I recorded on my iPad. You could hear fucking like Mexican music and fireworks the whole time because it was New Year's Eve. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, it's going to be a good show <laughs> coming to you on Thursday in theory, probably like Sunday in execution. <laughs> but gamers, you can find me at linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. It's the link tree where there's things that you can hear uh there's fucking here's a couple shout outs detour ahead is a show i do every week with my friend alex uh we have guests on sometimes we do a topic sometimes we don't stick to the topic that happens uh sometimes we come with a planned topic and we end up talking about something completely different uh for example uh this this past week uh we uh we sat down to talk about pokemon we were like, it's finally time, because it's a running bit on the show that, like, dirt. Uh, when, when we were doing a bunch of formless casts, it would always come back to Pokemon, because we're super big Pokemon fans. And whenever we did an episode about Pokemon, we would just, in at least in part of that title, it would just be Pokemon and then the number. Like, we did, like, Jinji was on the last time we did Pokemon. It was, like, Pokemon 5 and Ford Fusions, or whatever the title was. It was it was Pokemon Five. It was ChatGPT, Pokemon Five, and Ford Fusions, or some some combination of those three terms. Rest in I don't peace remember to what my ordered. Ford Fusion, by the way. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jinji's Ford Fusion. Uh, but we sat down to do Pokemon Six. The prophecy was going to be fulfilled, um, and then we just got into a super like fucking deep conversation about religion and the end of the world, and that's what we ended up talking about the whole time. So you can tune into that episode that came out on Wednesday. We do one every week. It's super good and and cool. We love it. And you can too. Um, and also follow the Riley and Friends YouTube channel. Uh, there's going to be videos on there soon, I hope. Uh, but there are live streams on there right now. Specifically the Riley Radio Live live podcast program. I'm trying to do it at least once a week. Uh, we come in. We do it. I have some people call in. We talk about whatever. Um, I record a version and I cleaned it up a little bit before I post it to the mega feed. So if you miss a live broadcast, you can check it out on the Riley Podcast mega feed. It'll be a little polished up for you. Uh, it's a nice time. Check it out. Um, and Andrew was here, if you'll recall. He's not here anymore. Uh, you can check him out on the Andrew's Away YouTube channel. You can also check him out on Big Guy Little Guy, which is where this loops back into a plug for me, <laughs> because. Uh, me and Andrew have a Let's Play channel together called Big Guy Little Guy. No. Ow. Sorry, <laughs> Where... <laughs> I didn't mute myself in time. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out, like, what word did he say under that cough? I thought there was, like, a bit there. But no, that was a genuine sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not mute myself. And, like, oh, my you're hand good, was going towards the mouse to, to mute my mic. My bad. Uh, but yeah, me and Andrew have a, have a Let's Play channel. Uh, every week, roughly three days a week, we post um let's plays edited let's plays if you miss if you miss me doing that on my youtube channel just doing let's plays and shit with like funny edits we do that every week i'm big guy little guy um it's a cool place that you should go check out uh it's been around for multiple more years than the issue crew and still has less subscribers so if you could if you could find it in your heart to go to big guy little guy and check us out it would mean the world to me we did it if you like podcasts, we did a podcast on there recently. We did the we had the return of the Big Guy Little Guy Q and A podcast. Uh, we got a lot of fan submitted questions that may or may not have been from the same one obsessive fan uh, whose name is Redox, but who could say? Who could say? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna that's... lie. Watching episodes of Big Guy Little Guy kind of reminds me of Oni plays in some ways. Oh shit! That's that's high praise. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. That's the beautiful words. Uh, but yeah, everybody, everybody check it out, folks. And that's it for the issue crew. Uh, thank you for listening. 
Uh, my issue was not background noise. That was last week. Hold on. Let me scroll down. My issue was headaches. Um, and Andrew's issue was Apple Watches. My issue was re-entering the physical workplace. My issue yep. was brand loyalty. And mine was killing fan projects. Is fan game shutting down was the phrasing you used. Did you oh, want to? My bad. Okay. Uh, killing fan fan, games, that's fine. Maybe fan project shutting down is probably the best name for it, because we kind of went a little bit outside of the co- scope of games, I think. Yeah. Let's so yeah, fan project shutting down. That's what we'll do. Um, and folks, we'll see you next week. For another issue crew that I have a feeling will be much less packed than this one, but it's okay. We make it work. We make it happen. Next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, very